Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about the another matcher that is two throw error. So in the previous video, we have learned about this two throw, when to use this two throw. So if you don't, if you are not sure that what is the error message and we know that confirm some error is going to throw means so we can check it with the two throw. But we want if you want to test particularly so the type of error message and the type of error string also means so we can use this two throw error. So let's try to see this how this two throw error will work. So if you try to see the definition of this one two throw error, it has a two parameters expected and the message. And here the expected is the type error. So the type of error, what is the error? The error constructor, it should be the error constructor and error constructor, the object that was thrown needs to be an instance of. If not provided, the error will be used. And the second one is the message. So what is the message that, that should be thrown, that should be on the thrown error. So here in, at the bottom, they have given some of the examples, something like expect function. So as it is to throw error and what is the type of error that is here, it is custom error and the message. So what is the error message? It is, it is going to throw in the same scenario. These are all things also. So let's try to see how we can check this one. So now if we go here, now in our calculator.js file, if you try to see here, it is throwing an error of type error. Okay. If it is throwing f type error, we will see how by creating the custom error also, I will try to show you. So here the number cannot be zero. This is the message. So I want to check the type of error and also the message. So if you want to check means, so here I can you I can write a new spec so to throw error matcher. Okay. I can use to throw error matcher. So let's go into this one. So here it let's find yeah it should throw error when divide when divide by zero okay should throw error with message or something like this so that we can have clear understanding the title so the function will be fun it will be a function so now here we need to create a calculator is equal to new calculator and we will be having calculator dot total is equal to zero sorry 10 and now I need to expect the function it should be a function why because it will throw an error we know that so uh, calculator dot divide of zero dot to throw error first one will be to throw error okay so if you don't know the message and also the type of error also you can use the to throw error it, it works similarly just similarly like to throw only if you try to see the output so we have saved it so it will be working should throw error with message when divided by zero it is working fine so why because so damn sure it is throwing an error but we don't know what we are not checking with the error message and the type of error so this is how it works just similarly like to throw only now let's try to see the type with the type of error. So here I am writing something like expect calculator dot to throw error and we know the error message. So you can check it with the error message number, sorry, cannot be zero. So this is the error message it is trying to throw. So let's try to see it. So whether it will work or not. So in this case also it is working. So for example, here in the calculator dot JS. So this is the error message, right? Number cannot be zero. Now what I will try to do is in the spec, I will try to check it with removing this one. So now the error message and this message is not same. Now let's try to see whether it will throw an error. So here it is throwing an error. It is telling that expected function to, to throw an expectation with, with message number cannot be zero. So remove uh, the zero is re O is removed, but it threw an exception with message number cannot be zero. Okay. So these two are not same messages. So that is the reason it is the spec has been failed. Now let's try to add it again. So now we understood, right? So now we can also check with an error message also. The third one is we can also check it with the type of error also. So the, the error type of error here, the type of error is error. So if you try to see here, the type of error is error. Now if you try to see, so then also it is passed. Okay. So now this is a normally normal error, JavaScript to this normal uh, inbuilt error. So if you have a custom error, so how to build a custom error? If you have a custom error means how can we do? So let's say assume that. So here at the top, I am creating a custom error, something like class arithmetic. Okay. Error. So it should extend 
error class so why because it should it should uh, we, we are able to see that the error should be an uh, the error, the type of custom error what we are trying to send it should be an instance of error so why that's why you are extending the error and we are having a constructor for this one so it will take the message and we need to pass it to the error error thing super of message to the constructor and we can modify the name of this error as arithmetic error okay and let's assume that we have another type of error so custom errors our custom error so i will try to create here another one so we have another one is something like bad request error okay so these are the two type of errors we are having bad request error okay extends error and we are passing here and we will try to modify the name as bad request error so these are the two types of errors we are having in our application so one is arithmetic error and the bad request error this is normal generalized error object so now we here we are using the generalized error that is nothing but generalized one throwing new error of number cannot be zero so for in this case if you try to check with this generalized error object so it will be passed so now but what i want to is so i want to narrow down this error so that we can do some operations so now as this one is an arithmetic error so we can write something like arithmetic error okay so now you need to, you need to notice that so if i try to change it to arithmetic error also the spec has been passed why because this arithmetic error is nothing but a part of the error object so now if you use this error or if you use this arithmetic error so it is one in the same only okay so error is the superset and arithmetic is the subset of this uh, error so that is the reason so arithmetic error or error so it's working so now you you are you trying to use the arithmetic error why because so when you are trying to divide it with zero the calculator dot js is throwing an arithmetic error now if you try to see again the spec is passed so now let's try to see it now the calculator dot prototype dot divide so this method is throwing an arithmetic error and we also have an another type of error that is nothing but bad request error so the, this divide is not throwing a bad request error so let's try to see with the bad request error so bad request error so i am check, trying to check it with the bad request error so you know that that divide method is is throwing an arithmetic error which is a part of the error itself so here i but no but now i am checking with the bad request error so now if you try to see so here the spec has been failed why it has been failed expected function to throw bad request error so we are trying to we are we are expecting the function to throw bad request error but the divide method thrown through arithmetic error with message like this so it is telling this one so you are expecting bad request error but the divide method thrown you arithmetic error so because of that one this spec has been failed so now we can check it with the arithmetic error okay so now we can check it like this now here this is as it this one is doing arithmetic error now the spec has been passed so like this so we can you we can check the error 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 message so at, in advance so deeply we can check the type of error and also the error message using this to throw error whereas to throw is very simple that we don't know the type of error or the error message or anything so just we we want we know that it will throw it will throw an error some error it will throw means so you can use this to throw you want to specific no you want to specifically test the error message and also the type of error means you can use this to throw error okay hope you understood about this to throw error so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you